Alright, there we go. Now this one's for realsies. We hit this. And we leave. Okay. Um, I'll need to swap out my arrows again. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Alright, get out of the way! Okay, thank you. And last creeper is down. So we can just this. I'm kind of switched to my mega, uh, mini shark actually. Alright, not much health left. And. And he is dead. Alright, sweet! We got some more stuff out of that. Uh, we also got this as well. We got the crimson rod. Um, it can do that, and it just summons like a rain cloud, and everything, anything it touches down here, uh, it deals damage, so that's good. And I also saw that we got that crimson heart as well, so we can just uh, put this, I believe, right there. Yeah, and then we just have a little heart buddy following us around. And what's cool about this is that whenever we go somewhere that's kind of dark, it emits a little bit of light, so hopefully uh, that'll be better for all of you YouTube viewers out over there, <laughs> in case if it like sometimes it gets too dark. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get all this tissue sample, and I'm gonna see what I can make with this. Alright, and in case you're wondering, by the way, I got the uh, the tissue sample that was stuck in the wall earlier as well. Um, so, in scale mail, uh, we can make this now. And that goes right there. So we have 30 defense. Um, yeah, that, that's an extra 3 defense, I think, from the, the this thingy. And we also get a set bonus of greatly increased life regen, so that is sweet. And also have some other things to sell as well. So, uh, like I don't need uh, I don't need that or that uh, or this even actually. And uh, yeah, that looks about good to me. Okay. We can also make a flesh grinder, which is a hammer. Although like hammers, we really don't really use them that much. So I think we're we're fine without it. Uh, the meatball, on the other hand, is uh, I think it's a really pretty good uh, pretty good weapon to say. I think it can replace the Undertaker actually. Now that I think about it. Because you can do that, and you can do that, and it deals tons of damage as well. 36 melee, which is nice. Okay, so we're stumbling across new areas now. Um, okay, we've got skeletons down over there. Uh, Spore right up here, please die. And uh, yeah, I can see over there we have another Lost Girl as well, so we can get some, yeah, we can get some good money out of that. They dropped some pretty good money. Uh, okay, let's go over here. And let's kill you. Okay, you know, I think it might be better if I use this, actually. And then, okay. Oh, look at that! Okay, we got what I was looking for the last time we defeated one of those. We got the metal detector, which can detect metal. So, right here, we can see it's like gold that's nearby. Uh, I have no idea where the gold is, but, I mean, it's fine. I guess we already have crunch anywhere and everything, so we're good. And, yeah, I drank another Danger Sense potion, by the way, so it can sense all the traps. This cave goes pretty far, okay. Well, it's a lot, going a lot farther than I expected, at least. And uh, I see that trap up there as well. Oh, well, that's the end of the cave over here. Anything up here? Uh, you got a little bit of stuff. Okay, I'm honestly going to just dig down and see what I can find. Okay, we stumbled across another cave now. And I believe that that is another spider's nest because I'm seeing, like, way, like, way too many cobwebs over there. Uh, got some silver. Oh, that's a whole bunch of silver ore. That's, okay. Uh, can I, uh... Oh, what the- oh my god, why does it always do that? Jeez. Okay. Uh, I got a diamond, uh, diamond tree. Cool, but I mean, not necessary though, at least for me. Okay, there's a boulder trap over there. Yeah, there we go, just disarmed it. Um, I think, is that a- is that another spider nest over there? Jeez. That's crazy, why are there so many? And, oh god, we got a freaking TNT trap down there as well. Oh wait, what the heck? Oh god. Okay, oh, I, 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 I was falling for a while. I got scared. That's what was happening. Okay, we're down here. Um. Okay, shoot. How do I do this? Um, I'm pretty sure I need to take out the explosives first. Now that I think about it. Um. So yeah, this thing is definitely gonna be able to like one shot us. So we need to be mindful about that. Okay. You got you. Uh, over here. And then we just mine the explosives like so. And there we go. The trap has been disarmed. Sweet. Uh, 
seeing a lot of like open caves. The problem is I'm not really seeing much of a I mean like chests or anything, which is kind of a bummer because I'd really like to see a whole bunch of those. But we're not getting any though. Nothing down there. Uh, nothing down here. Nothing up there either. Okay, we got a nice open big area down there. I believe that I can just jump down there and I'll be fine, right? Yep, only took one damage. And we're coming across a lava layer as well. Also, we got like three traps. Oh, that must be a dead man's chest. Okay, interesting. So you don't know about those. Those are added in the 1.4 update. Where basically, you can find golden chests lying around, or they may seem like golden chests. No, there's a. I don't know what that was. I think that was just a rock. But there's all these like boulders and everything, and these like dart traps and those explosives down there that are uh, like lined up to the chest. So basically, yeah. So basically, yeah, it's just like a trap chest. And yeah, oh god, yeah, I gotta be really careful. Yeah, there you go. The chest is down there. Gotta be super careful as to not activate that thingy. This. Pop up. Oh, do not. Don't even try it, Mr. Bat. Okay. Here. I'll get you. Okay, you're gone. I'll get you. If I can, there you go. Okay. And uh, we will get you. You three. Oh, you got a life crystal. Cool. There we go. You, you, most important trap of all of them is you. And with that, I don't see anything else here, so. And we're good! Sweet! Okay, we got a band of regen. Oh, God, what the freaking that? Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. I got. We got a band of regen, though, so that's cool. I guess I can replace you, maybe? I don't really need. Yeah, I don't really know what I need for you anymore, actually, so yeah. Bye bye. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god, that scared me so badly. <laughs> I could have fallen down a really far drop down there. Okay. Uh, light crystal, boom. I've seen lots of gold. And uh, there's a pressure plate. I don't know what that is rigged to, but yeah. Right. What is it actually? Oh, okay, it's, it's to that. Alright. Uh, you. I think I can, yes, I can make my way over here. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, what the heck? Oh, I'm out of, wait, oh no, I thought I thought I was out of arrows. Never mind, I'm not. Uh, okay, nothing really much over there. But we're down to lava level though, which is pretty cool. Oh, and we're out of, uh, oh, our danger sense potion is out, okay. We gotta be wary about that. So. Oh, okay. We found managed to find another chest. Sweet. Okay. Although, yeah. Although the danger sense potion is out, so okay, that chest is not rigged to anything, which is good. Um, so I believe that we can just loot it freely, and nothing bad will happen to us, right? Uh, but just in case, so I'm gonna gonna put some platforms above me in case like a boulder drops on my head or something. A lava charm. Oh, okay. That's really cool, nice. Uh, Titan Potion, Dynamite, Gold Coin, Recall. Uh, don't really need that, okay. Right, cool, cool. Um, I don't need the Ruby, I guess, or these, or that, or even that, even. Okay. Alright, so with this Lava Charm, actually, I think, uh, can you put it in the, oh no, you can't put it in that slot. But with this, though, you can, like, um, uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, with this, you can kind of basically just <laughs> walk into the lava, and then you'll be fine. Like, I think you can just... Oop. Yeah, you're fine for like uh, for a limited amount of time, though, only. So when that thing runs out, I'm going to recall that, like, so. And with that, yeah, we that was a somewhat successful mining journey, I guess. I was kind of hoping we can get a cloud in the bottle, because that would have been, like, super useful, in my opinion, at least. But, oh well. Alright, okay, we are back. So, I've been thinking about it for a little while, and I was thinking that even though we don't have a double jump with us right now, I think now is actually going to be a good time to start building a Hecavator. I'm not going to say the other H word, because I'm trying to keep it uh, uh, PG here. No no swear words in this house, no thank you. 
Um, yeah, uh, or, or maybe we can make some more houses, I don't know, but I mean, we already have some, uh, yeah, over there. Uh, we can hold off on the houses, I guess, but now, I think, yeah, now is a good time to start building the Hankovator. So, we're just going to build it right here, underneath uh, this uh, chandelier. And we're just gonna start going. Uh, I should probably control. Yeah, there we go. And uh, oh wait, hang on. I wanna, I wanna grab some danger sense potions before though. All right, we got our danger sense potions, and I also bought the lava charm with me as well because you know, uh, I mean, you never know that might come in handy someday. So here's basically how we're gonna work. So we're just gonna keep digging down like this, and every once in a while, we start. Um, Every, every once in a while we place a torch down, we're going to place it on the right side because on the left side we're going to be placing the rope to get down so that way we don't die of fall damage because right now we have no double jumps, no lucky horseshoes or any of that. So once we uh, get down somewhat low, I'm going to start to take the danger sense potion. I believe it's 10 minutes, right? Yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got a tiny little cave over here. Let's check out what we got over here. And, uh, it was absolutely nothing. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's just keep digging, I guess. Oh, we got a another cave opening over here. Do I have any glow sticks on me? No, I don't. But I, uh, let's see if we have anything there. Okay. Looks safe to drop. And there seems to be another little alcove over here. What do we got here? We got some slimes, that's one thing. And uh, up here, uh, oh, I kind of need a platform, don't I? Yeah. Uh, okay, nothing up there. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to go back to the surface because I realized um, I ran out of torches. Yeah, I got down to there and I ran out of torches. So uh, we're gonna need to craft some more. So I'm gonna go grab my gel. Okay, and then we fade with that. And uh, before we go down, we need to place the rip there. So we just start placing like that. And uh, actually, I'm not sure if you can see this, but if you load up the mini-map over here, um, and you go down, yeah, you can see the rope being placed on the actual map. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, there we go. Okay. So, we should be good on that. Now we just drop down, grab on, and then we slowly but surely make our way down. Okay, we have, appears what to be, uh, we have appears to be a bigger cave over here. We have a little seal mushroom. And I'm hearing a, a worm, I think, right? I think that's a worm, yeah. So yeah no traps? Yep, no traps. Okay, you get out of here. And, uh, yep, okay. No pressure plates today. Keep going, keep going. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to take this now. Because uh, I am too lazy to go scout every now and then for traps. Right, and once again, ding, ding, ding. We got absolutely nothing from that cave. Huzzah! I am so excited to get nothing from caves, that's all I ever wanted. I'm gonna probably put some walls up here later in case I like uh, I don't fall or anything. Ah! Oh god! <laughs> that was just a slime. Alright, uh, we, oh, we got a cool, we got a, another teal mushroom. Anything down here in the water? Oh, light crystal! Okay, nice! Uh, oh, and then that's a... <laughs> uh, that's an explosive trap. Okay. Well, luckily we're not really anywhere close to that. So, let's consume this. Oh, wait, actually can. I just... Uh, I just realized I need to change my interface real quick. Uh, interface... Oh, classic, there you go. Yeah, like I said before, I like classic because you can actually see numbers for it. Super for me, and boom, 360. I'm gonna try and see if I can disarm this trap. Because I don't want this to end up becoming a big problem later on. Looking good, looking good, we're getting close, hopefully, hopefully I don't accidentally set it off, that would be the worst way to go. Um, okay, please, I don't know how to do this. Can I do that? Okay, there we go, I got it. Okay, we're back. Yeah, another reason why I wanted to hurry back was because we're also on a time limit as well, because we have just, uh, we only have like one more danger sense potion, and after that we're just going to have to like use pressure plates and just hope for the best that... We don't activate any traps. Alright, uh, let's continue onwards. How far are we, by the way? So, we're that much. We are like a good, uh, I'd say one fourth? <laughs> one fourth the way down? That sounds about right to me. Yeah. Okay, what the? Oh my god, get out of the way! Jeez, okay. 
Uh, thank you for getting out of the way, cooperating. Oh god! Oh, let's, let's go down. Okay. Oh, that was a little bit scary. I couldn't see for a second. Um, what, is that gold or is that a topaz? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Too lazy to check. Okay, well, let us continue on. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's another thing with these excavators. The most annoying part, in my opinion, is dealing with water. So yeah, whenever this happens, I just try to uh, have a, have uh, the least amount of water as possible. Oh, yeah, and until it empties out into like a cave or something. That's what happens. But although. Water can be good in situations, like if you don't have like a double jump or like a horseshoe, then that's like a super easy way to break your fall once you're going down this thing. So in its ways, it's like, it can be good or bad depending on the situation. Oh, I, these stupid slimes! Oh my god, get out of here, thank you. Okay, and once again we have another opening. Oh, life crystal! Hey, let's go. There seems to be nothing over there. But boom, 380. We just need one more to go, and uh, we're detecting a chest as well. Oh, we got a traveling merchant too. Okay, so apparently I was not able to find the chest, but you know what? It's okay. We 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 already got enough stuff. I feel like. I mean, like the only thing that I really need is just a double jump. But <laughs> and although a double jump was like pretty necessary in order to play the game, um, I'm sure we can manage with it. I'm sure we can. Uh, we'll we'll get there someday. But. Okay. <laughs> All right, and right about now we are approaching like uh, we're approaching the place that we already discovered before. Yeah, we've got like the lava charm and everything. Um, so I think we're gonna head back now, and we're gonna go check on the traveling merchant. Oh, I just dropped my bow. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, we're also running low on arrows too. Hopefully, maybe he has something. Although I don't think he actually has all the arrows. But okay, let's see what we got. Uh, katana. Okay. I mean, we're kind of a little bit late in the game though to be needing that DPS meter. We already have DBS meter, double horns, lawn flamingo. Um, none of this just looks really interesting, I would say. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that you are useless, and therefore I do not need you. So goodbye, get out of my sight. <laughs> um, so uh, no, you don't need you. Or um, and now we can put the statue right up there. Yeah, okay, I think that sounds good. Um, and so what, yeah. We also need to uh, continue the this rope train over here. Uh, oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, oh, cool, there's a, you see that? There's a thing there, uh, a life crystal. I almost forgot what it was called. <laughs> and with that, we have achieved full health. Let's go, well, I mean, aside from the life fruits, though, but, like, uh, that's, like, way further into the game. So we're good now, uh, and with that, I think that now is a good time to end off the video. So, uh, yeah, this episode we did some underground exploring, we managed to start our, our little hecavator, and we have also managed to get a lava charm as well, a pretty rare item, I have to say. And uh, with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!